Start with Credit Suisse because Bloomberg are reporting that UBS Group is now looking to cut more than half of Credit Suisse's workforce from next month as a result of the bank's takeover. Bankers, traders and support staff in Credit Suisse's investment bank in London and New York and in some parts of Asia are expected to be affected. So what do we know so far? Let's speak now to Chris Roebuck, who is a global business leadership expert, a former global head of leadership for UBS. Chris, as always, lovely to have you with us. You, uh, perhaps inevitable this, isn't it? You bring two banking giants together and then you find that you've got too many people. But what do we know about the potential scale of these job losses? Well, exactly as you say, if you've got two organisations doing the same thing, you put them together, there's going to be duplication. Um, and it's a massive leadership challenge for UBS, because how do you move on potentially 22,000 people in a decent way? Because to be blunt, how you move people on reflects your values just as much as it is when you recruit them. Um, you're right, investment bank is going to be hit, but also fundamentally any support function because you don't need two legal functions finance or hr functions um and also in switzerland you don't need two branches of ubs on every high street so the impact globally is going to be significant as you said investment bank in uh, us and uk there's about five and a half thousand in uk seven and a half thousand in us so the fallout is is going to be pretty massive for many many people yeah and chris you know that uh, this is about politics as well as economics and business isn't yeah. it um and particularly when it comes to switzerland there is a quite a special relationship just explain why so much of the politics will play into some decision making here well f fundamentally the problems that credit suisse had got to the point the Credit Suisse on the global markets was, to some degree, no longer credible. The Swiss government were faced with the potential of the Swiss banking system effectively imploding. So they created the forced marriage for UBS to effectively save Credit Suisse and save Swiss banking, which also potentially saved a massive problem with the global banking system. But effectively for the Swiss government, for this to work, it is absolutely critical and also because on Swiss high streets, there are effectively only two major banks, UBS and Credit Suisse and some local banks, the removal of Credit Suisse then also reduces customer choice and is gonna create redundancies in Switzerland, which is quite a small economy. Chris, as always, really good to get your thoughts. Thank you for being with us. That's Chris Roebuck there.